So, welcome again to Sir Ravich channel. So, bibigay ko naman. So, I will give the rules in writing a good headline. An effective headline. So, let's start. Number one, must have a verb, present tense for the English, and past tense for the Filipino news writing. Number two, do not use period in writing a headline. We never use period in writing a headline. Number three, use a comma in place of and or at and semicolon to separate the sentences. That is a rules in writing a good headline. Number four, we are not using a, an, and da in an effective headline. We never use a, an, and da in an effective headline, especially if that is a competition, just like in journalism. Number five, don't use names unless the person is well-known. If that is not well known, don't use. If that is not famous, don't use. We are just using the names of the person if that is a famous politician, famous actress or actors, or a well-known personality here in our country or even in the world. So, number five. Or number six. Use the infinitive for the future events. Infinitive two. Number seven, use specific terms instead of generalities. So in news writing making, we are using specific terms, specific details in our news making. That is number seven. Number eight, the first letter or the, of the first word and the proper nouns are capitalized. That is rule in our very good, effective headline for the news writing. Always remember that the first word and the proper nouns should be capitalized. So it must be big letter. So number nine, the headline should give the gist of the story in just a few words. When we say gist, this is a preview. This is a something catchy word or to catch the attention of your readers. What do you think is the inside or the content of your news news story? That is a gist. When we say gist, G I S T. This is introduction, the springboard to your news. That is a headline. So number ten. The content of the headline over a news story should be taken from the lead of the news. So if there is an introduction, when we say lead news, lead of the news, the, this is the introduction. And then your introduction is a basis for your headline. So most of the time, most of our writers write first the details of the news. And after he writes the details of the news and analyze the lead, he can make a very effective headline as short as possible that is good and then number 10 the content of the headline over a news story should not taken should be taken from the lead of the news so that is rather that that is already discussed or some i'm sorry so number 11 write numbers in arabic form when we say arabic form one, two, that is. Number 12, use a single quotation marks instead of a double quotation mark. So, in a f writing an effective headline or a good headline, especially in competition nowadays, in journalism competition, if that is division, regional, or even district, we are using single quotation, not a double quotation. If that is a very, for example, if that is a very famous personality, use a single quotation even not use a single quotation and the last one number 13 use only familiar abbreviations or acronyms in the headline for example fb it stands for the facebook um or for example there is bp president or 
P, for example, P, P, P Duterte or P Duterte, that is President Rodrigo Duterte. So, we are just only using familiar abbreviations or acronyms for the headlines. So, I hope that these 13 rules in writing an effective headline will help you a lot so thank you for watching i hope this will help you especially for your time competition nowadays don't forget to subscribe sir rabbit's channel bye